Biden administration announced on Friday. Biden administration. Hamas attempts to miss the wounded terrorists from Palestinian territory. Americans. Including Americans. The Gaza Strip delayed their efforts. During his call to journalists, a senior governing official said Hamas would not allow anyone to leave. However, list provided after audit was about one-third of wounded Palestinians on list. Hamas said authorized. Subfare was unacceptable. Authorized. Mostly bilateral citizens, including 500 U.S. citizens including about 6,000 foreign nationals were imprisoned in the war zone. According to a high-level Biden management official, Hamas rejected thousands of foreign nationals from Gaza for weeks. President Biden said on Wednesday that Hamas has finally agreed to allow some U.S. citizens to leave the Gaza Strip with the wounded Palestinians and other foreign nationals. Biden management official said that Qatar and Egypt are critical INDA in negotiations with Hamas. On Thursday, Biden told journalists, 74 American people, bilateral citizens, said that he could leave Gaza from the neighboring Egypt. 74 U.S. citizens left the Gaza Strip on Thursday. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby expects more Americans to leave at a similar speed even if not better than we see. Israel. The narrow land strip of military operations rapidly in Gaza in recent days has increased. According to reports, an Israeli airstrike the Jabalia refugee camp in Gaza Gaza targeted Hamas leaders targeting Hamas. Leaders. Biden management. This is not our army. Not U.S. military campaign. And so I don't want to be on seat here. But I will say when events happen, we are definitely talking to Israelis authorized. Then ask questions about strike. Then called terrible. The authority. The statements we made from the Israelis. Not only battalion. A battalion commander. Series of leaders. This battalion was an important condition. He added.